Alright, CMYK printing using pen registration on silk screens. So, uh, watch the video for setting up the paper uh, for pen registration if you haven't watched that. So I've got my pens, I've got my paper, all my other silk screen setup is still the same. Um, so all my sheets are punched with those uh, registration holes using the hole punch. And I've got my mylar down and I'm going to be using a vacuum table um, for this process. You do not have to use a vacuum table, but uh, I like it because the paper won't, won't shift around and I don't have to think quite as much in doing it. So for CMYK printing, um, I'm going to go ahead and be using uh, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black ink. So that's the CMYK. Um, all inks have 50% transparent base in them, which you can see there. Uh, so it's 50% the color, 50% transparent base. I'm going to start with magenta just because it's easier for me to see um, the registration on this. My magenta is, is pretty runny here, so I'm going to use a minimal amount and really um, because my exposure has just a is using a bitmap and has little spaces for the ink. I actually don't need a ton of ink to print um, these editions. So I'm going to start by flooding the screen as usual. I'm going to turn on the vacuum here, making sure that my mylar is is flat and in place. Um, the vacuum is just a shop vac. These are homemade um, screen printing boxes, so they're not um, professional in any way. It's just plywood um, channeled out as a box with some um, formica on top that has little tiny holes drilled throughout to make the vacuum box. And then the shop vac just plugs into the side. Um, so once that's down and kicked out, then I'm going to go ahead and pull this on the mylar. So on my uh, print, I currently have the registration targets and all of that set up on the, uh, the exposed image, and I'm going to have to tape over these eventually so that they don't print on all my good sheets of paper. So I have one scrap sheet of paper that I've drawn out where this is going to fall on the sheet as well as I know that this one's just going to be kind of tossed away at the end. It's my registration sheet, essentially. So I'm going to go ahead and slide that registration sheet underneath. I've got a, a paper rectangle that's like kind of mapped out where this should fall. And once I have that in place, what I will do is I will kick on the vacuum. You can see that suck that down. And then I'm going to go ahead and place my pins. So be sure not to disturb the paper. Like I said, you don't need the vacuum to do this, but it helps. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and slide the pins underneath. Make sure it's on, the paper is on both of those. And then I'm going to go ahead and tape those pins down in their correct location. I can pull off the paper and then make sure that the strip is really taped down so it doesn't move around on me while I'm printing. So I'm just kind of securing this all over the place. And then my burner sheet, my scrap sheet, goes down and I'm printing this with the registration marks on it. So those targets in the corner and the label. And I'm going to use this sheet to register all my other sheets. So once I've got that sheet printed. Then what I need to do is cover up those targets that I'm pointing at. So uh, I'm using packing tape. My, my blue tape didn't want to stick to this, so just make sure to cover all those up. You still want to move kind of quickly here so that your ink doesn't dry out in the pores of the screen. And once I have all these covered up, because it's taken me a while maybe to, to mask this out, I'm gonna go ahead and pull on just a, a scrap sheet first so that I'm not wasting one of my good prints with maybe a blocked screen. Here, 
there's just that scrap sheet. I'm just checking since this one isn't punched with pens to make sure it's underneath of the image. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it. And flood. And everything, I just wanna check the image to make sure, sure everything's printing well, everything looks cleared out, so now I can move to my, my addition on my punched sheets. So this helps because I don't have to think about registration. I know that the image is going to fall um, in the same place in relation to the pens on every sheet of paper every single time. So paper down, vacuum on, pull the print. Flood. And you can see it's printed. There's the registration marks aren't in those corners anymore, so I just have the image now. So then I just move through the rest of the prints. So once all the cyan, or sorry, the magenta is done, then I'm gonna go ahead and um, clean out my screen, and then I'll move on to my, my yellow uh, print. So I've got this, so I've, I've exposed two images per screen because my images are small enough. So I have my magenta and my cyan on one screen, and I have my yellow and my black on one screen so that I can switch in between screens um, without too much downtime. So while one's drying, I'm printing the next color. So I have the colors in order to how it's most efficient to print. So now I'm onto my yellow. So I'm doing the same thing, flooding, printing on the mylar. And the targets are still exposed on this. So now I'm bringing back my registration sheet, which has the targets on it. And I'm gonna use the targets from the magenta to line it up with the targets from the yellow. And you wanna make sure that the targets are pretty precise in all four corners. So take your time lining this up. It might take a, take a little bit of patience here to kind of wiggle it around. Like I said, you want to check all four corners. Don't um, just think because the top corners are lined up that the bottom ones are as well. And once I have that all lined up, what I am going to do is then kick the vacuum back on. Double check that once the vacuum sucked down that everything is lined up. And then I'm going to go ahead and flip the mylar back and put the registration pins down once again um, where the paper sits. Make sure not to move the paper because that could mess up your registration for all the prints going forward. Once it's in place, then I need to secure it down the same way I secured it down last time. Move the paper out of the way, make sure it's not going to move at all by taping it down more. And then once this is all secured down, I'm going to print once again on my, my initial print, so my magenta print. This is going to get all the layers on it, it's just going to make sure that we're, we've got everything lined up. So vacuum's on, I'm gonna pull the yellow over top of the magenta. I'm gonna flood and then I'm gonna double check that registration and if everything looks good, then I'm gonna be taping over my registration dots again so that the yellow doesn't print on all the other sheets. So that's what I'm doing here, covering those up. And then once that's done, then I'm gonna go ahead and run the yellow on all the, the magenta prints. So my 
burners off to the side, and I'm gonna crank through the rest of the prints. And you can see the, the color interaction starting to happen. So uh, where we're starting to see some orange is where you, where you have that interaction of the yellow and the, and the red, right? So moving through that addition, cleaning up. So I would do the same thing for my, my cyan color, which that screen is out uh, drying in the sun while I, was, while I was printing the yellow. So I would clean my yellow pull in the cyan screen, run through this same process, um, and then clean out the cyan screen and then pull back in the black screen and finish that up. And so the last bit of this video is just me um, printing that black screen after I clean up the yellow here. Last color is the black. So I had to skip the cyan here, but there would have been a cyan print through that process. So it's still lining up, pins down. Black gets pulled on all the prints. That's the CMYK color printing process.